There are lots of subtle differences between classical and quantum description of nature and today we are going to look at two of those differences. Let's look at the first one. Let's consider the two body problem from a classical perspective. We know that this problem can be reduced to a one body problem with an effective potential as follows. As we can see that the possible energy of the system can be any real number from some minimum energy E which depends on system parameters to infinity. But let's look at this problem from a quantum perspective by taking an example of hydrogen atom. We know from experimental observation that an empirical result about possible energy of the system and the energy of the system is as follows. We can easily see that the spectrum of energy is not continuous but a complicated mixture of discreteness and continuity. This very different behavior of energy like observable clearly shows weirdness of quantum mechanics. Now let's look at the next problem. This one is about the underlying mathematical structure of, the, of these theories. Classical mechanics is structured upon n-dimensional configuration manifold where n is the degree of freedom of the system. The evolution of particle in classical mechanics is deterministic if provided with initial condition. That means we can determine the future trajectory of the system with infinite precision. And time evolution can be absolutely predicted by solving Euler-Lagrange equation for the system, whereas the quantum system has a totally different behavior. A state of a quantum particle lives in a Hilbert space, which in mathematics is a vector space in the first place with some additional structure like inner product and a norm induced by the inner product, it is said to be complete if every Cauchy sequence converges with respect to the norm induced by the inner product. The time evolution of a quantum state is provided by the Schrodinger equation. The information that can be extracted from this equation is intrinsically limited by the laws of nature. We can only talk about the probability of finding a quantum particle in a given state. The indeterminacy can also be seen from the uncertainty relation as follows. These are some basic differences that has made quantum mechanics much more difficult. But on the other hand, it is too fascinating for us humans as its outcomes always challenge our intuition.